Well, hello, everyone. I have things now, and we're on my porch, my back porch, and today's video is going to be different. Um, I procrastinate. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Okay, so I am a smoker, and I've been trying to quit cold turkey for the past two days. And it is the hardest thing I've ever done. And it's crazy saying that out loud. Which, I'll talk more into it, but the basis of this video is I'm going to smoke an entire pack of cigarettes in one sitting. Which, I've never smoked a whole pack in a day. Even if I was feeling it, you know, so. This is going to be interesting. Um, I'm scared. <laughs> I've heard that people throw up and feel sick for days, but you know, I'm tired of feeling like I constantly need it. And it's crazy because as large as I am, you would think that food would be like the hardest thing to stop doing, like eating as much and eating healthier and all that stuff. So, and this has been a lot harder. <laughs> so I'm going to smoke an entire pack and I've tried to look online to see what that would do to you um and nothing really happens and like when people <sighs> i haven't said that in two days either and like it's so hard to focus and do anything literally anything so i'm just gonna <laughs> use this bucket for my trash like i came prepared i've got water if i puke i could puke in this fucking pot i suppose i can no, and then I'm putting my ashes and buds in here. And I'm not going to do like those other videos where they smoke like the entire like, like, cause that's not accurate. And then they're like, Ugh. so I would rather just take it one at a time. Um, so we'll see what this does. I even changed my clothes because I my dad, he can't smoke anymore. And this is the first lighter I ever bought too, so. Light it up, I suppose. Wow. Already regretting this. And this is gonna be a very long video. Like literally, you guys, I'm not even joking. I can't focus on anything. And it's not like I'm constantly thinking of cigarettes. I'm constantly, no, it's not like that at all. It's like literally, you know when like you zone out and like you're too lazy to zone back in? It's like that with everything. And that's really annoying. So, and I'm playing the radio, so I don't know whatever's gonna come on. I just thought it'd be better than silence. Um, even though it's really quiet, you might not even be able to hear it. But I thought also this would be a good time to reflect on my life and what got me into smoking. Because I was always saying, I would never smoke. I'll never smoke. It's terrible. Like, it's got rat poisoning and all this stuff, and I'll never smoke. And here I am. Now, my dad has always smoked. since I've had a cigarette. My dad has always smoked for as long as I can remember. Um, and even seeing him and like his health and everything, I was like, that's terrible. Why would you do that to yourself? I'll never do that. And then in a social, in social situations, they would always, like my family members, not my family members, but people in my family would always, teenagers would always be like, here, 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 here. And I never liked it until like two years later in social situations with my friends. And I know it's a little late for New Year, New Me, he he. Which I don't know how I feel about these bangs. Y'all tell me if it's ugly. And if so, like I guess honesty is key, but like, what is this? You know, like, 
I don't know. It's cuter with my hair down, I think, but my hair is doing something weird the past couple days. Anyway, and so social situations got me into it. And then I was like, I'll never buy my own pack. Because when I started buying my own pack, I was like, fuck it. And here I am. Which I haven't been smoking for long. Like, not a year, even. But still, like, the amount of money and what it does to your health and everything is just terrible. It's crazy. Ugh, I'm already done. Like, I don't want to do anymore. Like, I don't want this anymore. And I'm only on my first one. And this is the pack that I would always smoke. While we're on menthol smooth 100s. <laughs> Again, terrible. You'd think that my dad's cancer, which he did not get cancer because of cigarettes, but that could have affected it. Um, but I didn't want to get a jacket because this is going to reek of cigarettes, I already know. <sighs> no. Smoking a whole pack. And I couldn't find anything online for it. So. Bottom of the pack, hee <laughs> hee. You know, I might smoke two at a time so it's a little bit faster because, like, how many cigarettes are in here? Twenty fucking cigarettes. And I'm already feeling, like, lightheaded and, like, woo! Because I haven't smoked in two days. And usually, like, it depends. Sometimes I would just have one, two, ten. It just depends. But ten would probably be my limit unless I was... And I'm not smoking all the way, I'm just smoking to where, like, I wouldn't put this out yet. And I tried to lean off of it, you know, to where I would just have one. Some days I would just smoke more than one, so I thought this is the best way, you know, since cold turkey isn't really working for me. Because my trigger is in the car, and I drive a lot. So I would always have a cigarette in my car. My car would reek. That's why I'm not smoking in my car. Because it doesn't smell like cigarette smoke anymore. I've been trying to make it to where it doesn't. Um, but I'm actually trying to get healthier. Which is why you guys haven't seen me. Because I've only done mukbangs on my channel. Um, and I don't know how to edit or anything like that. And I really just have a phone. I'm working on getting a computer. Okay. I'm gonna put this one out. Uh, so, if you guys want, like, healthier mukbangs, I can. Oh. This video is gonna go from, like, me being like, woo, being like, <laughs> uh. I got to. But I've been doing this program, um, that my teacher is actually helping me with a lot. I mean, she's more than a teacher to me, but <sighs> I'm like <laughs> shaking. <sighs> Please don't start smoking. And I mean that wholeheartedly. I know that people are like, don't ever start smoking, don't ever start smoking, but please don't. This, this should show you because it has gotten progressively worse over the past three or four months, I'd say. 
where I would always have two packs in my car. And at first I would just get it when I get gas, which is every two weeks. But then I started going more and more and more. So, so two or three times a week. So it's not good. And a pack is six bucks, you know. So think, like, over the lifespan of a year, like, how much, the lifespan, over a year, how much money would that be? A lot. And I'm shaking because I'm so cold. I need more water. But anyway, I've been doing this program for a little bit now. That is called Optavia. And I am very large, as you could tell. Um, hi, like I am very large at 19. And it's not good to where I can barely find clothes. And I'm always depressed. Probably what got me into smoking. Ugh, and anyway so you eat five of these little like it's not like it's not a diet okay and I'm actually really really liking it and that's what wanted me to quit smoking because I'm like if I am trying to make myself healthier I'm not doing anything out of the program then why would I smoke because that's just holding me back and I'm hard for me to <laughs> it's hard for me to talk really about this because I'm not a person that talks into my feelings even during mukbangs I just say whatever is on my mind and what I'm going through kind of like an update or whatever and it's hard because I mean you grow up and you see how it damages people and you think that that's you now like, man, that hits hard because I was, I was always, I'm always a chubby girl, you know, even growing up, I've never been skinny, I've never been small, I've never been normal size, normal health, normal anything. And so really your surroundings really, really is what, you know, makes you what you are. And it sucks become a person that you didn't want to be. And that goes the same for drugs, for eating, for drinking, for smoking, anything. I mean, just anything in general. Not being active, not doing anything. It sucks. I want to be, and it's as cheesy as it sounds, I want to be the best me that I can be. And it's just finally realized in my head, like, I can't walk up, I can't walk up my driveway without being out of breath, without feeling like shit every single day, without waking up and being like, God, I hate this. And so I thought antidepressants would help. Which it doesn't really, I still have panic attacks, I still, not as often, I'm not suicidal all the time, but it's still, some days it's terrible. And I thought, well, maybe if my health was better, instead of trying all these fucking pills and trying everything else that's bad for you, maybe this would be better. And I've only been on it for 12 days. Um, and I've already lost 15 pounds. I'm smoking causes lung cancer, heart disease. <laughs> I know. And I've tried nicotine patches. I've tried, like, and I'm... It's very hard for me to change my ways. I'm a very stubborn person. So, the fact that I'm trying. <sighs> Ashes on my phone. <laughs> Who would have thought? But just to tell people, like, I am bettering myself. I am not smoking. I am not doing these things. It's hard to keep that up. It's way harder than people say it is. You think it's just like, oh, she doesn't, she doesn't want to. I want to. And you're like, then why are you doing this still? Why are you? Because you're stuck in your ways. You're so used to eating a giant fucking plate every single meal. And you're so used to smoking in your car and doing these things weekly. And, and doing what your friends do. And that's why I've been so hesitant with my friends. Is because 
those are triggers and I that's why I just stay in my room I just stay in my house because there it's it's still the same old same old I'm not trying to do those things I don't want to do those things in the sense like yes it's fun it's better you know but like after that now what you're depressed again you're your anxiety is up, you hate yourself, you hate your life, you hate what you've become. <coughs> it's just sad. It really is. To just see yourself and what you used to be and what, which I've never been, you know, the perfect person or anything you know I've struggled a lot but it really takes a toll on everything how you work how you behave your morals just everything and I'm trying to change that and now is the time to change because I'm young you know like I don't want to fuck up the rest of my life just because I'm used to smoking cigarettes and I'm used to eating the amount that I do because if I keep going down this road I will be exactly like my dad and I love my dad but I don't want to have cancer. I don't want to be 600, and he's not 600 pounds or anything, but I don't want to be miserable. I don't want to hate life. I don't want to stop my goals and not want to be the best person that I can be. Three down. It's just pitiful to see yourself doing this like this is upsetting for me I don't want to do this but I know if I do this then it will make me realize what I'm doing to my body daily so that's why I'm making this video for others to know what smoking and smoking a pack in one sitting is always going to be hard for anybody but it does different effects on everybody if you smoke a pack a day then it's not going to do much for you, but I've never smoked, smoking, I never have smoke, whatever, you know what I mean. I don't want to be my destiny, as stupid as that sounds. I really want to change my life and it sucks when everyone around you doesn't you know and that's why I like this <clears throat> Optavia program because it's more than just lose 20 pounds in a week you lose a week is a little harsh but lose lose the amount of weight that you want to and it's healthy habits and it's realizing that you want better for yourself cigarettes are holding me back and I love my friends but they're holding me back so I have to do this for me for my health for my well-being I've got to and it sucks that everything everybody has struggles hell just this this year this past few months, my dog has died. I have no friends, practically. Like, I still have my best friend, but, like, it's different. And that's why I wanted to move for so long, but even moving, that won't change anything. If I move to a different state and I'm still eating the way I am and I'm still stuck in my habits and I still... And I know I'm underage, but if I still want to drink and if I still want to do these things, then that's not changing me. That's just changing location. I've lost my favorite job that I've ever had. I became distant with everyone. It's like I'm right back to square one. When I started smoking and started eating more to try to fill that hole. And yes, this is a deep video, but hell, I need more context than me just smoking these cigarettes while the birds chirp and this fucking music plays. It's part of the journey. 
So yes, I'm doing this. Is it a bad day to do it? Definitely. Because I have school the rest of the fucking day. So if I'm sick, throwing up and shit, that's not going to be good because I have tests and stuff. And I have to go see my teacher that is helping me with all of this. And I might tell her that I smoked a pack. And that I'm working for a better me. And that I will not smoke anymore past this pack today. I swear to it. I swear. I will end up dead. Maybe it's before the 600 pound mark. I don't know. And that's why I'm trying to do better because instead of moping around and thinking about killing yourself in the bathtub and strangling yourself and all this stuff, it's terrible. That's what the world has done to us. It's just, it's sickening to see all these fast food places and all of these which of course yes they have things like this like these little warnings and stuff focus maybe or not yes they have warnings and stuff in classes medical classes that are like you shouldn't smoke you shouldn't smoke blah, blah, blah. you shouldn't be eating this much you shouldn't but that's what America has done they tell you ooh go to McDonald's go do this spend your money buy cigarettes buy alcohol you know it's fine you only live once and it's not okay. Yes, all body types are beautiful, you know, really skinny or really big, but yes, they are all beautiful, but is your health beautiful? Are you healthy? No. And that's what's not beautiful. That's what's not okay. That's why I am doing this. Will it destroy my lungs today? Yes. Will they heal? Hopefully. <laughs> Will I throw up? Hopefully not. But I still have majority of the pack to go. so upsetting to see me hurting myself so much and yes I've always struggled with depression and anxiety and everything and it's not the trend it's literally what happens to people and it's terrible it's so bad this is not a cry for help <laughs> I promise I am working on myself by myself for myself because that's what matters is me and my family what if I was 300 or I'm more than 300 pounds what if I was 600 pounds and smoking two packs a day and drinking constantly and not giving a shit about my life you only get one life so why are you ruining it because you want to have fun because you want to be like everyone else that's not okay Young me was always like, yeah, I'm always gonna, you know, I'm always gonna try my hardest to be the best me that I can, but have I really? I haven't. And it's really hard to put words with my emotions because I've always been like that. My family has always been like that. It's terrible. And it ruins you. It ruins everything that you have. And to realize, you know, I just want to have fun once. I just want to have fun because life sucks ass right now. And I just, I just wanted this to happen. And I, I didn't want the worst part of it to come out. But yet, what did you do? You ruined it. And you 
feel like a dumbass and you feel stupid. One, two, three, four, five. Five. In 25 minutes. Literally right there is my dog's grave and thinking that what a dishonor that I'm doing by ruining myself. And I don't want to do that. If one of my family members dies and I am doing terrible to myself and the people around me and I'm not happy, I mean, that's terrible. You're pulling everyone else down with you. And that's what I realized. I don't know, I sound like one of those fucking people that... It's like, I'm just doing a better me and I'm just blah blah. But really, it's a realization. Of how terribly... I mean, when I thought few years ago that I wanted to end it all which I still do sometimes but not half as bad but I was just stuck in my old ways and which I still am but I'm working on it and that's all that matters and I want to do myself right finally after 19 years of fucking myself over and being so alone and unloved feeling and feeling like Life's pointless, but it's not. I want to be healthy. I want to be a music teacher. I want to help other people. I want to be a thinner, better me. I want to have the mindset that I love myself and I love everyone around me. And I can't do that when I hate myself. I really didn't think that I was going to be doing this today. Um... But I was getting gas, and that's usually when I get my cigarettes. And I just had an itch, and I was like, I need nicotine, I need this. But that's not benefiting myself. That's not, that's looking back, not doing what I want. I need to get smoking, huh? fun. I've gagged a couple times, um, and I hope I don't throw up. thought now would be a good time because I want to do this before my dad gets home. Um, great, the neighbors just fucking pulled in. Because he doesn't know I have a YouTube channel. And I texted him and asked him, if I smoke a pack of cigarettes, will I stop? And he was like, you have more senses than that. And I do. Which is why I'm doing this. I don't know how well you can see me. Can you even see me? I don't fucking know. If not, sorry. The sun has changed.
<laughs> Four times now, but okay. Usually I would smoke when I drink. It's neither as good. have I done to myself? Okay, I'm putting these out. Like, what are the benefits of this? Literally nothing. There are no benefits to smoking. Zero. And that's what I keep telling myself when I want cigarettes, but I still want it, and I don't want to want it. And I know that takes time. Everything takes time. Eating yourself till you want to fucking die takes time. Wanting to die takes time. Smoking takes time. I want to use that time for something better. <clears throat> and I really don't want to smoke anymore. I mean, right now, too. I don't want to. I don't want to smoke the rest of this. I feel like ass. <sighs> So it's funny for you guys. <laughs> Kill me. Ashes all over me. this so much and the pain <laughs> you never realize how much you've hurt your body until you've done it This isn't an eye opener to you smokers. I don't know what the fuck is. Vaping too. It's fucking terrible. Nothing comes from oh a big cloud. Oh, 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 fucking stupid. Our society has become. And I've tried vaping too. I've bought hundreds of dollars, about three hundred probably. It's not okay. Like, look how fucking terrible this water is. That's what my lungs look like right now. That's what my lungs look like. Worse than that, actually. Like, fuck, man. You're putting chemicals and bullshit into your body. And people just don't fucking care. But it's fine. You want to ruin your body? Go ahead. You want to fucking smoke? Go ahead. You want to drink yourself to death? By all means. But you're hurting yourself and everyone around you.
I so badly just want to brush my teeth and fucking drink a gallon of coffee right now. Not coffee, just something. To get this fucking taste out of my mouth. To make my lungs feel better. I feel like shit and I'm actually lightheaded as fuck right now. usually how much I would smoke if I was drinking, probably more. <laughs> My tongue is lifted slightly as if I want to puke. Oh, I feel so heavy. And I paid money to do this. I just puke. <laughs> this is sad. are starting to feel a little numb. Um, don't know if that's normal or not. <laughs> determined to finish this pack but if I puke I'm calling it quits after people are sick for days um I really hope that's not the case with me because I'm already over this and I'm tired of it this is how many I've smoked out of 20 I've got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 that includes this Not even lit. 
It's funny. <clears throat> Parents find that. They find their kids' cigarettes and they're like, if they smoke a pack, will that make them quit? You have to have the willpower. You know how bad I just want to put these out right now? So bad. Huh. The smell is starting to make me sick a little bit. I don't know if I can do it. I just want to put these out so bad. So bad. Like I'm put off by it. I don't want putting these out. I can't. You guys, I think I'm calling it quits. I'm fucking throwing these away. I feel so sick. If I smoke another one, I will puke. I'm done with this. I'm fucking over it. I can't anymore. I feel so sick. And I've gagged. I don't even know how many times. I can't. can't smoke anymore. I'm sorry. I can't do the whole fucking pack. I feel terrible. I'm like shaky. But I hope ugh, my hands, I just I hope this has opened your eyes. Um, I'm going to fucking change these clothes and wash them and lay down in my bed so I hopefully stop feeling so fucking sick. Bye guys. See you in another video.